Hi, I'm Sonam, and I'm an engineer from Azus, and I'm going to talk you through our new Z87 motherboards, and I'm going to start off with a Z87C. Okay, so this is going to be our entry-level board. Um, so it's got two PS, uh, PCI Express lanes, so you can do crossfire with. As you can see, it's got two heat sinks for the VRMs. Um, there's, five uh, there's five fan headers, two for the CPU, one CPU fan, one CPU option fan, then three chassis fans. Now there's a note to say with our chassis fans, uh, there are four pins, but you can use it with uh, three pin fans, and they'll still retain PWM fun uh, function, so if you're installing this motherboard into a case, you no longer have to upgrade to PW uh, PWM fans, as uh, with our new chassis headers, you'll still get that PWM control. So with Haswell, the socket's different. So Ivy Bridge was 1155, and with Haswell, it's moved on to 1150. Yeah, so this is our Z87C board, the entry-level board you typically use for system builders um, and people who are starting out gaming, and you can achieve um, a perfectly respectable overclock with them. I think the uh, max rate is about 4.6 gigahertz on this particular board. So. As of Azus, we've still got our world-renowned UFEI BIOS, and we've improved uh, upon it once again. So we've got a couple of new changes. One's a BIOS note, um, quick note function. So you can um, jot down some settings. So if you're doing your overclocks, if you want to make a few notes, then you can do it on the computer rather than having to use a pen and paper. And then we've also got um, track changes. So every time you do make a change to a BIOS and save it, it'll actually track what you've changed. So you can go back, have a look, and then see what you've done. I'm going to talk you through some of the key features on this board. So we've got TPU, which is uh, like our turbo overclock, which is like a one-click function, which you can do in Windows or in the BIOS. And then there's EPU, which is um, basically the opposite, uh, which gives you maximum efficiency on the board, um, which basically means you have less power being uh, emitted and then also less heat. So we've, uh, I'll quickly go through the fan headers, which I talked about earlier. You've got the CPU fan there, option fan here. Chassis fan there, chassis fan there, and then one more on the bottom. Uh, we've got six SATA 6 ports. So as you can see, we've got uh, four USB 3 ports on the back, and then there's two for the front. Uh, we've also got USB 3 boost, which gives up to 70% um, faster read speeds over standard. And then we've also got Fan Expert 2, um, which is the most advanced system of uh, basically making your own profiles so normally you have silent standard turbo but you can we with fan expert 2 we provide a graph where you can make your own custom profiles about when the fan speeds increase according to what temperature things like that so continuing with our ports at the back on the IO port we've got two USB uh, two USB 2 ports um, DVI and VGA and then HDMI so perfect for home media PCs four USB 3 ports Ethernet, and then uh, your HD audio.